Hi, this video is going to show you how to graph linear relations from real world context. The learning goal for this video is to be able to represent linear relations as graphs when described in words or as an equation. So we're going to look at an example about food bank donations. Uh, Ralph began donating to his local food bank by giving $100. Afterwards, he committed to donating $20 per month. So we're going to graph the relationship between amount donated, A, and time in months, T. So in the beginning, he gave $100. So that means at time being at zero, so that means at the beginning, he uh, donated $100. Therefore, we can draw a dot right there at 100. Now, after one month, he gave 20 more dollars. So at one month, we can go up to $120. After two months, we can then go up another $20 to 140. After another month, we can go up to 160 and so on. We can continue that pattern. Now, as you can see, it's a linear relation. It is a straight line. So I can grab a, I can grab a ruler, well, a digital virtual ruler, and I can create a straight line. So that's um, graphing the relationship between amount donated and time in months. Now, this was relatively simple because the t-axis here, the x-axis, whatever you want to call it, is going up by one every time. Now, but that's not going to happen all the time, what happens if we have a scale like this, where the um, t-axis, or the x-axis down here, is going up by 5 or some other number. So we need to come up with another strategy. Um, so let's graph, um, oh, let's just remind ourselves um, that Ralph started giving $100, and then it's $20 per month. So really, you just need two points um, to draw a straight line. Now we already know um, the first point, he gave $100 at the very beginning. Now we need to come up with a second point. Um, ideally we want to find a, a point somewhere far on the right hand side so that it can be accurate. I mean if we draw a, a dot too close together and then draw our straight line uh, not very accurately then it, there's going to be quite a discrepancy on the um, right hand side of the graph. So let's say for instance, uh, I'll just pick 30 months here. Uh, we need to know, we need to find out uh, how much money Ralph donated in total after 30 months. Um, so there's many ways to do that. I mean, I'll just show one way. Um, you can model this relationship in an equation. Remember in the form y equals mx plus b. So um, uh, y here is the amount donated. So I can write actually a is equal to, now m is the rate of change. So it's $20 a month, so it's 20 times uh, x in this case down here it's at it's the letter t and b here is the y-intercept or the initial value which is a hundred dollars here so this is the equation that um, relates these two variables together now I, i'm interested in 30 months so i can replace the letter t with 30 plus 100 20 times 30 is 600 plus 100 so the amount donated is $700. Now that makes sense. I mean, you can think about it intuitively as well. Uh, if it's $20 a month for 30 months, you can do 20 times 30, which is 600. That shows up right here. But don't forget that he paid $100 at the beginning. So that's why we added 100. So altogether, we have $700. So whether you make an equation or not, you know, it doesn't matter. I made an equation just to you know, throw in a little bit more um, extra stuff about linear relations. Anyway, at 30 months, it's uh, $700. So I can put a dot right there. Um, and then again, all we need is to get a straight edge and draw um, a straight line. And there is an, um, another representation of this relationship between amount donated and time in months. So really, okay, the, the, the big idea here is that we need two points to create any uh, graph of a linear relation. So let's look at a different example here. Gwen starts with $650 in her bank account and she spends $25 a week on lunches and snacks. So we're gonna represent the relationship between the amount in her bank account and time in weeks. Now again, um, uh, Gwen begins with $650, so I can put a dot right here at $650 at zero weeks. And it's $25 a week that she's spending. So this graph is going to go down because when you spend money, your uh, bank account uh, a level goes down. Anyway, we can create an equation again to represent uh, this linear relation. I can write y equals mx plus b. So again, y in this case is a is equal to the rate 
which is 25, but it's um, your spending money. So the rate is actually going to be negative $25 times T plus 650. Um, so again, you want to pick a, um, a number somewhere on the right hand side. I'm just going to pick 20 because it's relatively easy to calculate with. So negative 25 times 20 plus 650 is equal to, uh, that is negative 500 plus 650. So that'll be $150. So at 20 weeks, he, uh, she will have $150 left. So I've got two dots. I go ahead and I create a straight line graph. And that's how it's done. Now again, you don't have to make an equation. You can think about it intuitively. Uh, if she spends $25 a week for 20 weeks, you just multiply that, you would get $500. So um, because she spent it, you would subtract it from 650. So you would get the same answer. Okay, you can create an equation or not. It's up to you. The big idea though is that you need two points. So you're going to give this question a shot. The total cost of a day at a fair is made up of an entry fee of $10 plus $2 for each ride ticket. You're going to graph the relationship here between cost and the number of rides. Remember, you need two points. Um, so pause the video, uh, come up with those two points, and when you're ready to uh, check out your answer, press play. Good luck. All right, uh, we know at the beginning the entry fee is $10, so right away we can put a dot there. Now the relationship between cost and the number of ride tickets. Remember, if we're going to create an, an, an equation in the form y equals mx plus b, uh, you can do cost is equal to uh, 2 times n plus 10. Now if you're, uh, let's do 30. Now you could have picked a different number, it wouldn't matter. Uh, cost would be 2 times 30 plus 10. So that is $60 for all those tickets plus $10 just to get in. So altogether that would be $70. So you can create a dot right there. And then, oh, come on, we're gonna connect the dots. Here we go. Okay. Something along those lines. Okay, so two points. The easiest one is the one at the very beginning if you're given the initial value. And you just gotta make some quick calculations to find the uh, second point. All right, let's try one more. Patrick has a prepaid cell phone plan. He starts with $25 in his account, but is charged five cents for every minute of talk time. So you're going to um, graph the relationship between amount and the account and the number of talk time minutes used. So give it a shot. Again, uh, graph it, uh, pause it, and then press play when you're ready to check the answer. All right, good luck. All right. He starts with $25, so at zero minutes, it's at 25. So if that's 20 and that's 24, the middle number must be 22. So this is going up by two every time. So 26 is over here. I'm going to have 25 right in the middle there. Um, I'm going to pick 100 because that's an easy number to calculate. So the, um, the equation, again, it would be in the form y equals mx plus b. Uh, here, oh, the amount is, uh, let's use A here. So A is equal to um, 0 0.05, but it's charging into his account. That's going to make it lower. So it's going to be negative 0 0.05 times 100 um, plus the initial value, which is 25. All right, um, 0 .0, negative 0 0.05 times 100, that's negative 5 plus 25. So the amount at that point would be $20. So at 100, I could put a dot at 20. And again, two dots make a straight line. So we just connect the two, and we have our graph. Okay, so um, hopefully now you're a wizard at uh, graphing linear relations. Um, so thanks for watching.